So let's go ahead and multiply these. Now we don't really need those parentheses because this is all multiplication. So let's get rid of those like this. And let's let's do show the multiplication between those though. The reason why we would want to do that is because now we can use the commutative property to move all of the like, I guess, multiples or factors next to each other. So 6.7 times 1.4. And then I have my base tens times 10 to the power of negative 12 times 10 to the power of 9. So let's look at the 6.7 times 1.4. Now, if we just remember we have two decimal places, our answer will have two decimal places. And we can multiply these directly. So 28, so we get 983, but again, we need two decimal places, 9.83. 9.83 times, let's look at the 10 powers. This is 10 to the power of negative 12 times 10 to the power of 9. So what are we going to do with those exponents? Writing is really hard some days, you know. That was a good save, I guess. <laughs> so the exponents, since we're multiplying the same bases, we will add the exponents. And that would give us 10 to the power of negative 3. Since we want this answer in scientific notation, we can just leave it like this. Uh, please don't get that confused because they've been asking you not to show negative exponents. For scientific notation, that is okay.